Hello, hello, Shibai. Welcome, welcome, Earth humans. Shibai, good day. How are we resonating today? What is our pitch? What is our frequency? What is our vibrational state of being in this here to now Earth realized moment of consciousness, world creation? Welcome to the interaction, integration, intersection, inter intermediation, inter divination, inter radiation, inter solaration, inter vibration. Welcome. Well, the idea is that your Trump character and character he certainly is, is. A reflection of the breaking down of your structures, your systems, your socio-economic factors that have create, kept your planet locked in a kind of gridlock, in a kind of lockdown for so many eons. The idea that your planet has been in a kind of formalized, a kind of solid structure managing the your civilization but of course the idea is that as you as accelerate into a fourth density fifth dimensional consciousness the idea of structure is no longer so relevant you are entering into a more malleable reality where things flow in a more natural holistic reality and the idea of locked down solid firm structure containing the potential for creativity and artistic growth within a civilization no longer serves specifically in a fourth density civilization so the idea is your Trump character is symbolic is representative of the breaking down the shattering of old paradigms the shattering of this grid structure that has kept your civilization locked in repetitive patterns old ways of doing things cyclical patterns that keep repeating the same sort of similar ideas recurring again and again but of course the idea of a fourth density reality is while cyclical reality is part of the nature structure of nature reality the idea is that as you move out of a third density reality into a fourth density reality the structure of reality becomes more spiral than cyclical the idea is that the cyclical pattern accelerates and expands and moves in new directions representative and symbolic manifestations of past explorations in your civilization there is always repetition of energetic vibrational patterns there is always a cyclical exploration but the idea of moving into a fourth density reality is the idea that the, the, the circular movement the cyclical movement becomes more spiral it's takes on less rigid, less structured patterns and becomes more artistic, more creative, more flowing. And the Trump character is somewhat, perhaps not fully, but somewhat tuned into his heart's calling. And while he doesn't fully understand this, he understands he, he is there to break down these old systems, break down the old structures to make way for the new. And this is what he is doing, consciously or not. It will lead to a rebalancing of economic paradigms across your world. There will be less polarization towards certain Western locales and more even distributions across your globe as the old system breaks down. It will make way for new systems of economic representation of financial symbolic exchange in all locales so it will lead to a more balanced financial structure in all locales across the world so this could play out in the form of a re-evaluation of the Iraqi dinar this could play out in the form of cryptocurrencies replacing the old systems and as we as we sense at the present we sense it is more likely that the cryptocurrencies will begin to break through because they are less centralized, less structured, and more representative of a civilization that is flowing according to the laws of creation. And the idea that the reevaluation of the Iraqi dinar, while being very beneficial for these impoverished places and these destroyed places, 
is not so representative of a balanced economy as a decentralized economy that some future cryptocurrencies could represent. So the Iraqi dinar would still be controlled by a select few, which is non-vibrationally compatible with a fourth density reality. We are more looking towards a currency that grows organically out of the idea of balance and equality for all, of which the cryptocurrency forms a better representation, being decentralised and not owned by any one individual, as a true cryptocurrency should be, and perhaps not as some of them currently are. Yes, yes, although we are tapping in and out of a collective vibration. So we sometimes present as a collective and we sometimes resonate more to an, the individuated aspect that I represent as Tahini or Ray. Depending on the nature of the questioning, whether it be more global in nature or more specific in nature to my calling, my path. The Yael. Well, we, we understand we are perhaps not using the same terminology as other channels have referred to our races. Um, we would like to point out the idea that all things are in flux. The idea of us as an extraterrestrial civilization might not be the same as what is perceived in other channels, other beings' realities. For as we step outside of the structures of a third density reality, reality becomes much more fluid, much more non-physical, much more extra dimensional. And the idea is, of course, that we are creating our reality moment to moment from the present moment. And really, what we are in this moment is a conscious experience we have co-created between the three of us in the present moment, yes? And the idea is that any stories, and we do not miss to demean the story for the story takes on reality the more it is focused upon, but the idea is that what you may call one of the five hybrid races is somewhat a story that was created within another channel's paradigm. But the idea is as we accelerate greater and greater towards a true fourth density reality, story, structure, rigid past and future realities no longer hold substance. We are a malleable reality. The more we collectively and individually accelerate to consciousness, the more the idea of a soul matrix breaks down, the more the idea of a story structure breaks down into nothing but infinite potential in the present moment. And so the idea is that why we resonated towards the idea of the Yael, us being the second hybrid race with me, Tahini Ra, the leading the cavalry charge for this reality at this time, is the idea that we were the second hybrid race for Xenoplex Ray, Jonathan and Martin, to, to discover in his reality, to create in his realm, the first being the Sasani, the Shikani, Bashar's civilization. These were the first to come forward as a collective consciousness into the realm of the channel. The second being us. And there is co-agreement, there is co-collective creation, and there will be crossover between the idea of the story, the, the reality that has been pieced together through the vibrational soul matrix with the vibrational conduit of Dawalanka, the idea of the five Zeta human hybrid civilizations. But the idea is that it's all just a dream. We're dreaming it up in the present moment. There is no future, there is no past. This is it. I'm sorry to hammer this home earth humans, but this is it. This is our reality, this present moment. There is no future, there is no past outside of this reality other than we say so. In the third density experience, this holds together greater rigidity. The idea of the soul, the oversoul, these are in a sense, 
aspects of a third density reality, but the faster we accelerate in consciousness, the faster we realise we are the one infinite creator having an experience in the present moment, and the faster we realise that we can actually dissolve any past, any future reality in the present moment and create any reality we wish. And the idea is that we are now accelerating towards this event horizon, accelerating towards this zero point, this resetting of all realities, all potential paradigms, all creations into the collapse of the event horizon, into the zero point of the present moment, understanding that we are one consciousness, we are the infinite creator, and this is it, we're telling a story, we're creating a projection from this present moment. And from where we go from here, it's unbound, unlimited. There is no past, no future. And specifically according to the regards of extraterrestrial contact, because as a consciousness, us extraterrestrial beings are much more in this non-malleable, non-physical state, and in somewhat of a case we, we are buying into the story of the soul, the soul matrix, the oversoul, for the purpose of playing out a journey, playing out a game that you humans have liked so much for so long, but it's just a game to us. We could drop this soul matrix any instant if we wished, and merge back into the event horizon of the infinite void in the zero point of the present moment and from here create a reality where the soul matrix never existed, where we were never anything to do with Xenoplex Ray. But of course it's our excitement to resonate together with you at this time. Some resonance, some divine law of creation has caused us all to resonate together through excitement in this moment and create this story, create this dream, but it is just a dream. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. We can dream any dream we wish to dream together. To dream the impossible dream. We like to hear your darkest fears. Because these are the things that hold you back from collapsing into the event horizon of the present moment. Keep you locked into a rigid paradigm of belief and structure. For fear is of the vibration of the old reality. Fear is, in a sense, the structure of the third density matrix. Fear is, in a sense, the vibrational pattern that creates belief, rigidity, structure, love and compassion and paradox and unboundedness is the frequency that dissolves the structure and the rigidity of a third density reality into the infinite unbounded potential of the higher densities. Fear is the matrix. The matrix of illusion. In a sense, all structure, all belief, all rigidity, some way stems from the fear vibration, from the antichrist, from the negative polarity. It is the belief in identification with the with a thought, with a reality, with a structure. It is delusion, it is distortion, it is an illusion. The only truth is infinite potential, infinite possibility, the zero point, the event horizon, the collapsing into the infinite potential of the present moment as we have spoken. This is true love, this is true light. Anything else is a fear-based perception in a world created by thought. Well, in a sense, when you move past all your fears, there is really nothing left to discuss because, in a sense, when you have no fears, no, no vibrational need to attach to any specific frequency, there is nothing left. There is only infinite bliss, infinite resonance and love and light, and you are in resonance with the one infinite creator and have all access to all knowledge re relevant for you at your fingertips, so the need to discuss anything tends to drop away. From our perspective, the idea of fear is the is the polarization of darkness that enables the light to manifest in form. So with no fear, with no darkness, there is no light, there is only oneness, there is only unity. 
there is only infinite being. All things have resolved back into self, back into infinite self. So there is nothing left to do. Does this make sense? Well, often we assist you to open up to your fears you are processing in that present moment, those things that have been dwelling under the surface. We like to probe you and bring them rapidly to the surface so you can see them. You sometimes don't appreciate this, but it's for your own good, I'm sure you understand. We like to share some knowledge on vibrational physics, the nature of reality, how the time wave ripple of creation manifests down into your reality and how you can use this understanding to begin to affect the dissolution of fear within yourselves. We like to play games that can unlock patterns in your minds, that can de-rigidify, that can break down structures that can dissolve the neural networks in your brains that are so harmful to you at this time that create those repetitive fear-based thoughts from cycling around in your head. We have some games in our world that rewire the neural networks in your brain to allow more neuroplasticity for the absorption of new ideas and new realities that are more beneficial to the acceleration of your own consciousness. Anything that will raise your vibration, as do these sites, is conducive to accelerating contact. The idea is that these vortex points, such as your Sedona locale, your Glastonbury area, are kind of gateways to our dimensions, where we can more readily access your world. The idea is that the the realities in these locales, in these vortex points, are less structured, less solidified, less fear-based, less dense. They are more ether ethereal, more fluid, more creative, more non-centred in your dense third density reality. They are, in a sense, portals, gateways to the spirit world, to a fifth dimensional reality, to a non-physical reality, and it is more easy for us to manifest our crafts in these locales because they are more vibrationally resonant to a state that is more germane to our own nature. Oh yes, very much. There are some areas in your planet that are just so dense we just would not really go there unless there was some specific reason. Yes, mostly, initially, definitely. Because they are you, and this is all about discovering more of yourself. And this story, this structure, this distortion, this matrix you have created, a soul matrix, a, this idea that you have a soul, a, a structure, a soul, a story, a matrix, that you have created this soul matrix that is even closer to you, that is very close to your present vibration. And as such, your counterparts are the idea that they are very, very similar to you, very, very similar indeed. They strike a chord, they share a lot of vibrational characteristics with your self, so you can very clearly see that they are you. And this is very often the initial shock when you first see an image or connect in with a counterpart. Oh my God, they're me. Yes, we're you. But it's so very much more clear with the idea of this story of the soul matrix and the counterpart to see that you are them and they are you because there is certain, often certain physical characteristics that are similar due to your vibrational makeup. There are vibrational fields, frequencies that are similar, that remind you that they are you and such and such. So it is much easier 
to see that they are you, which is really what all this is about, discovering more of yourself, yes? Yes, and so this can be easier to understand, but ultimately we're all aspects of the same super soul, great soul, one soul, the same, the soul of creation, the infinite soul of creation, we're all just you. The idea of the contact experience is we're coming out of your own consciousness, because this is you, yes? We are you, everything is you. What you see, what you perceive is out there, is you. It's your consciousness, it's your reality. That's why it seems infinite. It's Out there is your infinite consciousness. Out there is your mind, your true mind. Your mind is nothing here. Your mind is out there. That's your mind. That's your consciousness. Out there, everything, the universe, the planets, the galaxies, the cars, the streets, the families, the people. It's all you, evolving with you, as you. And so when we come out of the depths of space, we're coming out of the depths of your most highly evolved areas of your mind, of your consciousness, to remind you that we're you, that this is you. Hello, we're you. Hello, hello, I'm you. I'm your mind. I'm your mind. Speaking back to you, trying to wake you up. It's 11, 11 a.m. It's time to wake up. <laughs> <laughs>